Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about my current brow routine. So just a little bit of background. My brows are generally full. Ang ginagawa ko lang most of the time is nililinis ko siya through plucking, ganyan. And I groom my own brows. So to do that, dati ina-eyeball ko lang like sobrang hinuhulaan ko lang kung saan ako dapat magpa-pluck kung may nakita lang ako nakalat, ganyan. So a lot of times before, laging may tendency na hindi bantay pala yung brows ko. Tapos, I learned to accept that na lang kasi nga brows are sisters and not twins. Pero, I stumbled upon this Instagram highlight sa account ni Benefit Philippines. So, if you go to instagram.com slash benefitph sa highlights doon, merong highlight na will teach you how to brow. How to brow? Will teach you how to groom your own brows. Tapos, what it will teach you is where your brow should arc, where your brow should end, kung um, paano ba siya itrim, ganyan. So, that's what I use na now. And I can say na medyo better looking na yung brows ko. Kung ngayon, kahit hindi na ako nagka-carve out or like nagka-conceal ng certain areas ng brows ko, medyo pantay na siya. And for someone who does it on her own at home, I think medyo okay naman yung itsura ng brows ko. Since nag-move ako sa States, hindi na ako nagpapa thread ng brows. I had a brow waxing session once. Tapos after nun, parang hindi ko lang gusto yung ginawang, yung final look ng brows ko. It was because feeling ko, iba yung brows, yung brow look na gusto nila dito compared to, sa gusto ko because yung gusto ko medyo natural looking, yung dito nung ginawa niya, medyo numipis ng sobra yung brows ko and ayoko nun. Medyo gusto ko yung full looking, feathery kind of brows pero gusto ko rin yung sharp. Ay, hindi, hindi ko alam ko anong gusto kong brows. Basta gusto ko bold and full siya. Ayoko ng manipis. So, nung ginawa niya na medyo manipis, from then on, sabi ko, sige, ako na lang ulit mag-groom mag ng brows ko. So, I usually just pluck and alam ko medyo masakit yon So, what you do is you pull your lid down para ma-minimize yung sakit ng pagpa-pluck nyo. So, I'll link yung Instagram highlight that I'm talking about in this video sa description box or sa comment section down below if you guys are interested. But, ayun lang. Just so you guys know, I do groom my own brows. So, kung minsan medyo hindi siya pantay, it means na nagmadali ako ng pag-pluck ng brows ko. I used to start my brow routine with a brow gel para alam ko na yung shape ng brows ko and makikip niya yun tapos yun na lang yung susundin ko. But since then, I'm trying to simplify my routine because na-realize ko sobrang tagal ng spin-spend ko everyday getting ready and as much as I love getting ready, I find that there are a lot of other simpler ways that I could do pero I'll be able to achieve the same look that I want pa rin. So I just went straight into step one which is brushing my hair with a spoolie. So usually you can find a spoolie at the other end of like a brow pencil or you could buy a separate spoolie na brush Tapos, what I like to do is I just comb my brows upward. Kahit yung sa may tail end ng brows ko, medyo pataas siya para maging feathery and natural yung brow shape ko. As much as I love Benefit Ka Brow, which is a pomod, kasi waterproof yon and long-lasting talaga. Medyo nagugustuhan ko na nga yung mas natural na look. And yun, mas gusto ko yun for more. Pag naka-full glam ako na makeup look. So, I've been really into brow pencils lately. A caveat lang to using brow pencils is the fact na medyo expensive siya kasi medyo mabilis siyang maubos. Pero it's the simplest and easiest way to fill in your brows. So, what I like to use is the Benefit Precisely My Brow or... For a more affordable option, the Sunny's Face Life Brow. Okay, so let's compare the two brow pencils that I like to use. First is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I love this because it's e super easy to use. It has a very soft spoolie. Tapos, maganda yung spoolie niya kasi manipis siya. May iba na sobrang chunky na medyo mahirap magbrush ng hair. Tapos, very long-lasting din yung product na to. Kahit napawisan ako sa humid na weather nagla-last yung brows ko, walang problema. At the end of the day, ko ano yung itsura ng brows ko paglabas ko ng bahay, pag uwi ko, ganun pa rin. And in addition to that, it has an extensive shade range. So, dati ang shade range lang nila, if I remember correctly, is 1, 3, and 5. Tapos ngayon, meron na silang 3.5, ganyan, 6, 7, and so on. Tapos meron na din silang 
more on the warmer side, tapos may cooler side din sila of things, tapos may neutral, yun yung 3.5. Napansin ko, dati kasi, ang ginagamit ko is uh, either shade number 3 kapag nagpapakolor ako ng hair, but as you can see nga, dark black, dark black. As you can see, I'm just wearing my natural hair color, so nag shade number 5 ako. Pero I realized na medyo matapang yung shade, no, shade number 5, medyo sobrang dark niya for my liking, and hindi siya mukhang natural. So, for a while, ang ginagawa ko is, I apply shade number 3 at the closer part of my nose, so dito. Tapos, kapag shade number 5 sa tail end, para mas dark, para medyo natural yung itsura niya. And then, nung nag-extend sila ng shade range, pinadalahan ako ng Benefit Philippines ng shade 3.5, and it is the perfect shade for me. So, that is what I use on this brow right here. Hindi ko na kailangan mag-mix ng two shades together to get my perfect brow shade. And like I said, what I like to do is, Mas pinifill in ko lang yung tail end, tapos pagdating sa gitna, onti-onti lang. And then what I do is I use a spoolie, tapos yun yung ginagamit ko pang spread ng product. And nakakatulong siya magmukhang mas natural yung brows ko. Another thing that we must note when using the Benefit Precisely My Brow, meron siyang castor oil in its ingredients. It might not be enough to, you know, syempre iba pa rin yung separate na brow serum. It's a good thing to have in the ingredient list kasi nga castor oil helps with like hair growth and whatnot. So just to compare the precisely my brow with another benefit brow pencil, ito yung Goof Proof. Yung pencil, as you can see, yung Goof Proof, mas chunky siya, tapos angled. Tapos yung precisely my brow, mas manipis siya na pencil. So bakit mas gusto ko yung precisely my brow? Kasi for me, mas namimimik nung precisely my brow, yung natural brow hair. So mas manipis siya and mas maganda siya pang fill in ng sparse areas. Ngayon kung nagmamadali kayo, tas mas sparse yung brows nyo, mas kalbo siya, marirecommend ko yung Goof Proof kasi mas mabilis mag-fill in ng brows with that. And since full na nga yung brows ko, may mga little sparse areas lang, yung benefit precisely my brow talaga yung right for me. For an affordable alternative, I highly recommend the Sunny's Face Life Brow. Now, this launched, I think, two years ago, and this is already my second pencil. The only reason why this is only my second pencil is because I live in the U.S., so medyo mahirap para sa akin bumili nito. But, you know, if you're from the Philippines, sobrang affordable nito and sobrang perfect siya because it's also long-lasting. It also has a very precise tip, and it has a soft and thin spoolie to brush your hair. The only problem with this is the fact that it only comes in two shades. So if you can't find your right shade dun sa ash brown and warm brown nila, medyo mahihirapan ka kasi syempre, the key to getting your perfect brow is syempre, dapat tama din yung shade ng brows mo para sa face mo or like sa hair, head of hair mo. So kung mahilig kayong magkulay ng buhok, ganyan, ang choice nyo lang is warm brown which is medyo toward the um, red side siya kasi warm brown nga. Tapos yung ash brown naman yung cooler side. So, darker, cooler, kunyari nagpa-balliage ka ganyan pero masyadong dark yun. Wala ka ng choice kasi yun lang yung cooler shade nila. Whereas with Benefit, you have a lot of choices na mapagpipiliin mo. Ngayon yung price point nila sobrang magkalayo. If perfect na for you guys yung shade ng Sunny's face, go for it kasi with the price points, very similar siya. Ang napansin ko lang though, with Benefit Precisely My Brow compared to the Sunny's Face Life Brow, itong mga Benefit na Precisely My Brow ko, mga more than a year na to sa akin, tumatagal sa akin yung brow products kasi madami akong tinatry and madami sa collection ko. But I know for a normal or an everyday girl naman, syempre hindi ka naman magkocollect ng iba-ibang brow products, di ba? Pero despite the fact na over a year na to, hindi siya natutuyo. As in, yung performance niya from the day I opened it up until now, it's the same. It's the right creaminess and the right dryness para hindi ako mag-overapply sa brows ko. Whereas yung Sunny's Face, nagkaroon ako nito last year na tumagal siya ng more than a year. No, more, not more than a year. Mga 10 months or 10 months or less. And napapansin ko na medyo nagda-dry out na siya. So, but, like I said, if ito nga yung gagamitin nyo for everyday, di naman siya tatagal ng ganun. So, pwede na siya. Highly, highly recommend this. If ito lang yung gagamitin nyo, hindi nyo ina-expect na tatagal siya ng more than 6 months because may tendency nga siyang matuyo. Tapos, kung nahanap nyo na yung perfect brow shade nyo with this one. So, yun yung step 2 ko. I fill in my brows using a brow pencil. 
For step 3, I finish off my brows using a brow mascara. So I have two right here and again, Benefit and Sunny's Olitra. So why do I finish off my brows using a brow mascara and not a brow gel? It's because sometimes yung brow gel, napapansin ko, nagbumukhang literal may gel yung brows ko. Parang feeling ko nagbumukha siyang shiny na ayoko yung look na yun kasi sobrang made up dung itsura niya and unnatural. Um, I know I keep saying natural and there's nothing natural about makeup but I hope that you understand what I mean when it looks too shiny na parang may may do, may do talaga yung brows nyo which for brows iniiwasan ko yun kasi very unnatural na siya. So, nagtry ako and ginamit ko brow mascara na lang and surprisingly, it doesn't make my brows too dark or too filled in naman. Kasi what I like to do is I focus it on the tail end of my brow. Tapos ko ano yung natira, tsaka ko siya i-apply dito sa ilalim ng brows ko. Like yung lower part ng brows ko when it's toward the middle na. Tapos I use a clean spoolie to um, spread that na lang para makeep niya yung shape. So both of these products really keep my brows in place and it also helps me fill in any areas that na I may have missed when I was applying my pencil. And also for like, if I'm really, really lazy for some certain days or kunyari nagmamadali na ako, having a brow mascara in hand is very efficient because they fill in your brows in an instant. Yun nga lang, whenever you're using just the brow mascara, make sure na malinis yung brows nyo and maayos yung shape nyo. Kasi kapag nag-apply kayo ng brow mascara na hindi well-groomed yung brows nyo, medyo sabog yung itsura nya. I also like to keep a brow mascara in my purse kasi a lot of times before, nung nag-gym pa ako or like nag-workout ako somewhere else tapos naliligo ako somewhere else, pag nakakalimutan ko magdala ng makeup bag, at least may pangkilay ako. And sobrang tiny to benefit na perfect siya sa cosmetic pouch ko sa handbag. But anyway, let's get to the differences of these two products. So again, yung Benefit Extensive Shade Range, yung Sunny Space, dalawa lang yung shades niya. Both of these pulleys are also good. They're thin and small enough para hindi ako makakalampas sa brows ko. Pero mabilis pa rin yung application niya kapag nagmamadali ako. So that is my entire brow routine. So after that, nag-apply na ako ng eyeshadow if gusto ko mag-eyeshadow on that day and then the rest of my face makeup which is foundation, concealer, and all that. I usually start with my brows para kunyari pag may lagpas ako, matatakpan ko siya. The only problem is siguro pag after mo mag-powder, may little speckles of um, foundation powder on your brows and that's where the brow mascara comes in handy kasi if you fill in, not necessarily if you fill in, if you retouch yun lang siya using that and you're good to go. Super quick and easy na lang ng brow routine ko ngayon. So, if you find that the Benefit or the Sunny Space is a little too expensive for your liking pa rin, I also recommend the Vice Cosmetics na brow product. So, I think this is the Gondol Micro Brow Pencil and then the Gondol Volumizing Brow Gel. Ngayon, napansin ko lang yung shade ni Vice Ganda or ng Vice, <laughs> yung shade ng Vice Cosmetics, medyo off siya. Like, pwede na to work with, pero hindi siya yung perfect ash brown shade, nor natural brown shade. Um, and then, yung brow mascara niya, medyo may onting, may onting shine siya at the end of the day. Pero, for the price, it's pwede na. Kung nagtitipid kayo, tapos gusto nyo ng everyday brow product. Okay. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new today. If you have a favorite brow product, please comment it in the comment section down below so I could try it out if I haven't um, because brow products are my favorite talaga among uh, actually brows and foundation. Pero brows talaga yung favorite ko if fill in like Hindi ko siya dinidread. Favorite part ko siya ng makeup routine ko. So, if meron kayong ibang favorites na hindi ko na-mention sa video na to, please comment it down in the description box because I'll be happy to try them out. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to take a break every once in a while because you deserve it. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hindi ako may